everyone welcome to krishna's online lectures in this video i am going to discuss about concepts of work and power so let's start the lesson so first i will define about the work so work mainly depends on any object which is in moving condition or which is in motion and some force should be applicable on that object as well as that object should move a particular distance it means the object should have some displacement so work we can define as the product of force and displacement in the direction of force so here let us consider one object so here we are taking one block or one body which is placed at one place and here this is in stable condition first condition we are considering as static condition or stable condition now if we are applying some external force so this is the direction of force which is applicable on this object so f force we are applying on this object and after application of force if this object is moving x distance so this x is representing the shortest distance traveled by this object so this is representing the displacement so this position is the final position of the object so here we are considering all three condition an object which is in stable condition or it is in equilibrium condition one applied force or external force which is applicable on this object and this force is moving this object up to a particular distance so this object is having displacement so there are three terms we are considering here force object which is in equilibrium condition and displacement in the object so work done we can define as the product of force so force we are taking as f and the displacement in the direction of force the displacement should be in the direction of force we cannot consider displacement away from the direction of force so displacement should be in the direction of force only so product of these two term we can define as work done but it's not necessary that the line of action of force and the displacement is always collinear if line of action of force and displacement is not collinear if there are different orientation we are considering for both the term for example here we are considering this object and on this object one force is applicable but this force is applicable at an angle from the horizontal line or from this particular horizontal base so let us consider this force is acting on the object and it is making angle theta with the horizontal line so this force is having one line of action so this line of action is not collinear with the displacement if we are applying force in inclined direction also in that case this body will move straight this should be the direction of force so here we have to consider displacement should be in the direction of force only so in that case what we will do we will define the component of this inclined force so component of inclined force we can define as this f is the force this is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component and this angle is theta so f cos theta will be the horizontal component of force f and f sin theta is the vertical component of this force f so here if we are considering displacement in this direction this is the original this particular position is the original position and this position is the final position of the object so this is the direction of motion of the object but this line of action of force should be collinear with the displacement so in that case what we will do we will take horizontal component of force so work done will be force into displacement only but this force should have this particular component f cos theta or horizontal component so it will be f cos theta into x so concept is same only we have to define in terms of component only now let us consider the value of theta so value of theta if we are taking 90 degree in that case what will happen this theta will act in this direction so this component we have to consider so if we are putting the value of theta is 90 degree in that case this cos theta will be zero cos 90 will be zero so the w value or work done value will be zero so here we cannot consider the work done in 
vertical direction if the force is applicable in vertical direction so let us consider here another condition that is the value of theta is zero it means this horizontal component so if we are taking cos theta or the value of theta is zero first value was theta is 90 second is theta is zero so cos zero we will consider one so the work value will be w f into cos theta so this f cos theta will become f only this cos theta value will be one so f into x will be the final work done in this particular case of inclined force so here according to value of theta it's not necessary the value of theta is 0 or 90 only the value of theta can be 45 also so according to value of theta we can define the work done which is applicable on this object now you have to remember some basic terms which is related to work done so work done should be a scalar quantity it means it is defined by the magnitude it will not defined by the direction second point is if displacement is zero it means if x value is zero in that case work done by the force is zero here f into x is defined by the work done so this x is defining the displacement so if this x value is zero in that case this total term will be zero so work done will be zero so this point you have to remember it means this force is not able to move this object in a particular direction so this body is not moving at all it means the displacement value is zero now third point is if any body is moving in the direction of force so the work done will be positive so here if the direction of force is this and this object is moving in the same direction so the work done obtained in this condition will be positive but if the direction of force is this only and if the body is moving in opposite direction so the work done will be negative so here work done will be positive if the body is moving in the direction of force and vice versa so this point you have to remember now if we define the unit of work done so we know this formula of work done w equals to f into x the unit of force we know it is newton and x we can consider in meter or mm or centimeter so the work done if we are taking displacement in terms of meter so the unit of work done will be one newton meter and one newton meter we can define in terms of joule so joule or one newton meter both can be the unit of work done now here i have discussed the work done and force applied in a rectilinear direction or for rectilinear motion i have defined now we are considering angular displacement or any object which is moving along the curve or it is having a rotational motion so in place of force we consider torque and torque we define as force into radius so if we are considering in place of force if we are considering couple and this couple is having angular displacement theta for a couple which cause angular displacement theta this theta we are defining as angular displacement so work done in terms of this curvilinear motion or rotational motion we can define as a product of torque and angular displacement so this tau is defining as torque and theta is the angular displacement so this particular term we are considering for rectilinear motion and this particular term we are considering for couple or for the curvilinear motion so this is the basic concept of work now if the work is varying or let us consider one force which is variable with respect to displacement here if we are considering this force which is constant with respect to displacement so we can define curve accordingly but if we are considering the force which is variable with respect to distance it means if we are changing the distance or changing the displacement so the value of force is also changing so in that case we can define the value of work done in terms of integration and we will define with the u uh, with this particular limit also
so this could be the formula in terms of variable force so the work done can be variable or it depends on the limit this one is representing the initial condition and this two is representing the final condition so this is all about the concepts of work now let's define the term that is called power so power we can define as rate of doing work rate of doing work is defined as power or in terms of formula this power is defined as work done per unit time work done per unit time so if we are considering work as w and time is t second so work divided by time is defined as the power we have work as force into displacement so it should be f into x divided by t so accordingly we can define the unit so unit should be here we have work unit as newton meter and time as second so newton meter per second will be the unit of power or it can be equal to joule per second because newton meter is equals to joule and this newton meter per second or joule per second is also defined as watt so watt is the unit of power if we are converting this watt into kilowatt or 1 kilowatt into watt so 1 kilowatt will be 10 to the power 3 watt and if we are converting 1 megawatt into watt so it will be 10 to the power 6 watt 1 megawatt equals to 10 to the power 6 watt so this is all about the concept of power and work thank you so much for watching this video you can read review and share this lesson with your friends and your known people and if you want to watch more lessons related to mechanical engineering please subscribe the channel